Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I am your guy, I am your man, Mr. Elton Henry. And today, I'd like to talk to you of another film that I believe is severely underrated. And uh, actually, I remember watching this film in theaters. And the funny thing is, you ever have that like thing where, I mean, it's a memory, I think, reflex, where you just remember a certain moment of something, and I don't know, it's just it just sticks with you. And uh, I remember seeing this film with my mom, this particular scene, I still remember to this day. And, uh, and it was actually kind of crazy. It just, it, the, 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 there's just one, this particular scene I just thought was memorable. I'm going to talk about Double Jeopardy with Ashley Jude and uh, Tommy Lee Jones with Bruce Greenwood. And the story is about a woman who is framed for the murder of her husband and sent to jail. Years later, she is released under a, um, um, well, what is it? What is it? What is it? Was it? Was it like a rehabilitation kind of like thing where she has to, um, a parole, parole, where she basically has to, you know, try to redap into society to, you know, prove that she's a, uh, you know, changed person. But she decides to take matters in her own hands to investigate um, her being framed once she finds out that her husband is alive and has set her up to send her to prison for false murder. And she is on the run and chased by her parole officer, um, Tom Lee Jones. And I'm going to just say it. This film is basically a female version of The Fugitive. But reverse roles, actually, no, I wouldn't say reverse roles, you know, just Tommy Lee Jones chasing somebody, but it's just a female lead. So, and I rewatched this film years back, and it's now available on Netflix, which I highly recommend anybody that just wants a good chaser, you know, kind of film. Um, really, it's just, hmm, it's a crime thriller, and I actually kind of like it that it's. The film doesn't really rely heavily on action. Um, and actually, Ashley Judd is a great actress. I haven't seen much of her work. I mean, she's in Heat, she's in uh, Divergent, and, <clears throat> you know, I mean, also hearing some things that, you know, with, with the Weinstein that she, that he tried to ruin her career. But all in all, this is probably my, oh, oh I forgot she was also in that uh, film. Um, with Matthew McConaughey and Samuel Jackson, that, 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 that uh, court drama. I, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, this is probably my favorite film of hers. And the, and the movie's like 20 years old. To see that, you know, she's more action-driven and to, re, to really kind of now really see her take charge in this film. And uh, Tom Lee Jones, <clears throat> and her character is, you know, just is really the highlight and the main lead of this film she really carries the film where she's on this quest to really figure out um how she can kind of get her name clear once her husband you know is alive and develop this sort of scheme to frame her to take have her take the fall which is really messed up uh, it's really messed up and you see her life just crumble when she's convicted and then once she finds out that her husband has set up another life and was been planning it for a while. Her shock, it becomes just like, what the heck? And it's very, very like, you feel bad for the character, like very bad. And it's very kind of like, wow. And while her character remains in prison, she trains and like trying to like, her mindset like, like on her goal, like I'm going to find my ex-husband and I'm going to ruin his freaking life and beat the hell out of him and clear my name. And Tom Lee Jones, you know, he's basically plays a 
the same character from The Fugitive, but a little bit more traumatized, more, um, I guess I would say he's more, I wouldn't say laid back, but he's more, I guess, tormented. Like he really does not want to be a part of doing anything that he's doing, but he's just doing the kind of character. So his character isn't as interesting from his counterpart in the future, just which the, these two movies have nothing in common because he plays a different character. But he just kind of plays a similar role, just trying to catch this um, um, Ashley Jew. And the scene that was memorable to me in this, in this, uh, and I actually remember seeing this in theaters with my mom, was the scene where Tommy Lee Jones actually handcuffs her. They were on a boat that uh, that transfer all the cars and passengers across the river and ravine or something. And then she was handcuffed to the car, inside the car, which was dumb. <clears throat> and then uh, Tommy Lee Jones, you know, wanted to get away with her and all those other problems. And then she handcuffs through the steering wheel and she tries to find a way to kind of get out. So she realizes that Tommy Lee Jones left the keys in the car by accident, turns the keys on and backs back and forth the car to kind of make room for the other cars and pushes the other cars off the boat so she can escape. So when Tommy Lee Jones notices that, he rushes down, gets in the car, and she drives off the boat into the, into the water, which was an intense sequence, and Tommy Lee Jones has to free her, get her free from handcuffs, which, you know, otherwise she would drown. And then he tries to apprehend her, but she quickly grabs her, his gun and hits him in the head and swims away. That was actually a pretty good sequence. And uh, I also liked it where she was trying to get information at the station. And uh, she steals Tommy Lee Jones' car and just drives through other cars to kind of escape. It was really cool. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a, you know, a guilty pleasure thriller. There's really nothing unique about it except, you know, for some thrills, the excitement, the chase is on kind of thing. And, it, it, you know, it's just, it's just a great time. It's a great time movie, you know. Um, and I think I like this film a little bit more than a lot of Chaser movies. Um, even though the film doesn't do anything remotely unique, I think it's just more thrilling and just more, I think, pulse pounding. Um, but again, you know, Tommy Jones' character isn't really all that unique, but it's, you know, it's just kind of like the fugitive, but it's still a great movie. I highly recommend checking it on Netflix. Um, if you have seen it, if you, you know, think somebody else might like this film, please recommend it. I highly recommend it to anybody. Check this film out and let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.